So you're new to Genshin, you do a 10 pull on the current banner, and while you don't get a 5 star, you do get 4 star Bennett. Now what do you get with Bennett besides the unluckiest character in all of Genshin? Well, Bennett is a sword-wielding pyro user whose burst can heal and buff your on-field character. I'm Kessie, Mango, whatever the hell you want to call me. And because not everybody is AR60 with 36 star Abyss, I decided I was going to make videos that hopefully anybody can understand. So if you do learn something from this video, do be sure to like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Also check out the Discord. There is a link to the Discord down in the description. It is a public server. So if you just click the link, you should be able to join. I will see you in there. And with that being said, let's get into this beginner guide for Bennett. So like we do with every single one of these guides, we are going to look at the current character that is being used, not only in case you want an idea of what a later game build might be, but also in case my Bennett is not doing the damage that your Bennett is doing, you know why. So this is on my main account. This is my main Bennett. Bennett is level 80 out of 80 with 23,592 HP and 1,668 attack. His crit split is 28.7 over 85. His He does have 19% healing bonus. That artifact is not completely leveled because it just got a different one. And his energy recharge is 158.9. For a weapon, I do have a level 80 sapwood blade on him. This is an energy recharge weapon, meaning that I will be able to use his burst more often. For an artifact set, I am running a four piece noblesse my bennett is c6 and what that means for this video is basically uh on his skill he's gonna do a little bit extra attack with his skill um whenever we get into that and then his c6 means that any character that's on the field their normal attacks will be infused with pyro i'm gonna try and not use another character's normal attack whenever they're on the field but if you see a character that is not pyro or somebody that should not be doing a pyro damage with their normal attacks do it inside of benny's burst that's the c6 so first we're going to talk about his normal attacks his skill and his burst so his normal attack is just five consecutive hits and his charge attack is going to be the standard charge attack for a sword character, which is just the flurry attack. Now his skill is going to have a tap, a short hold, and then like a long hold. So his tap is just going to swing his sword and he is going to do pyro damage. If you hold it down for a short time, you will go to like level one charge skill. This is going to do a sideward slice, sideward, a side slice, and then it's going to do like a skyward slice. It is going to do two attacks dealing pyro damage. If you hold it down all the way, he is going to do multiple slices doing pyro damage each instance, as well as giving you a knockback whenever you do the final one and come down and hit the ground, which you can stop that from happening with his burst. So now we're going to talk about Bennett's Burst. Now Bennett's Burst is going to lay down this kind of field of pyro. It is going to do an AOA pyro instance on hit, but it is also going to lay down this pyro field. Inside of this pyro field, your on-field character is going to be getting an attack buff as well as being healed if they are below 70% HP. Now it is not going to necessarily heal them up to 70%. It is going to give an instance of healing if they are below 70%. So if they are around like 68% HP, then they will get another instance of healing that could take them well over 70% HP. But once they are over 70%, that's when the healing stops. Now, if the character inside of the field is above 70% HP, they will get an attack buff. So Bennett, as you can see, got healed and has these yellow arrows around him being inside of his burst. The arrows are from the attack buff, and if we were to swap characters, whatever character is standing inside of the field is going to get the attack buff. Now, you do have to have them above 70 HP for them to start getting the attack buff, unless you have Bennett's first constellation, which I do, so mine is going to get healed and the attack buff at the same time. If you do not have that first constellation, your character first has to get above 70% HP, and then they will start receiving the attack buff. So, as you can see right here, just what I said, uh, if the health of a character within the AoE is equal to or falls below 70%, their health will continuously regenerate based off of Bennett's max HP. If the health of the character within is higher than 70% they will gain the attack bonus c1 gets rid of that if it will always do it so since we're talking about his burst the question is how much of an attack bonus does Bennett give well as you can see right here at level 10 it is 101 percent but it doesn't tell you what is his attack so it is his base attack which is this white number right here not 
the green number. The green number is going to come from if your weapon has attack percent, it comes from artifacts, it comes from buffs. It only matters on this white number, not the green number. And that is Bennett's base attack and the base attack of the weapon that you have on him. So to show the difference in the buff, we are going to look at Bennett and Gene. So Bennett's attack before the buff is 1,668. And then for Gene, it is going to be 1,897. So whenever we use his burst and then we check the character, his attack is 2,606. If we swap to Gene, hers is now going to be 2,818. So you can see there's a massive buff going to the character on the field. Now you also might notice that, hey, Cassie, the math isn't correct. That is because one of Benny's constellations gives an increase in the attack buff. That's why. I think this will be the last time that I ever do one of these videos for beginners with a C6 character because explaining all of this is just way too much. So next we're going to talk about artifacts. So for beginner artifacts that doing like a four piece exile is going to be your best bet. Not only does the two piece get up his own energy recharge, but the four piece is that whenever you use his burst, it will help regenerate energy to your other characters. So the two piece allows you to use his burst more and the four piece is going to give energy to your other characters. Now for main stats, if you can do it on the artifacts, if you want damage Bennett, you're going to be doing different main stats than healing Bennett. So for Sands, if you want damage Bennett, it's going to be attack percent. For healing, it is going to be HP. On Goblet, if you want healing, it is going to be HP again. If you want damage, it's going to be pyro damage bonus. On your Circlet, if you want healing, it is going to be either HP or healing bonus. If you want damage, it is going to be crit rate or crit damage, depending on what you need more of. For a beginner weapon, you do get a prototype Rancor for free upon completing certain things in the guide. So the prototype Rancor is only really going to be good because it has a high base attack for a four-star weapon. So it just means that he will be buffing the other character's attacks or his own attacks more. For a three-star weapon, your best option is probably going to be the Skyrider Sword because it gets up energy recharge. It gives you a lot of energy recharge, actually. And whenever you use your elemental burst, it will grant 12% increase in attack and movement speed. At R5, it is 24%. But this will allow him to use his burst more often. This is going to be great if you're building a more healing Bennett than a buffing Bennett. Now you can use cool steel because of its passive if you have him with hydro and cryo characters, uh, but that is going to be for damage Bennett. That is not going to allow you to have his burst up a ton. And it's also not going to allow you to do a ton of healing for a beginner party for Bennett, assuming that you do not have any other characters besides the free characters that the game gives you besides Bennett, of course. So with Bennett, we're going to be running Zhang Ling, Barbara, and Kaya. Now, Zhang Ling, you get for free upon completing Floor 3 of the Abyss. Barbara, you get for free upon completing the Animate Archon Quest. And Kaya, you get for free upon longing into the game and playing for about 20 minutes. Now, with this party, you are going to be using Bennett's Burst to buff as well as heal. Bennett's Skill, because it has a very low cooldown, to be giving energy to Zhang Ling. Zhang Ling's Guoba to be giving energy to kind of anybody on the field. Zhang Ling's Burst to be spinning around. Barbara's skill to heal as well as cause vaporize reactions to have some Hydra there. And Kaya's Burst to be spinning around you to work with Barbara's skill and Zhang Ling's Burst. Now, this very much is going to be like a quick swap team where you are going to be swapping between like Bennett, Zhang Ling, and Kaya, depending on what needs to be done, right? If you need some energy for Benny or Zhang Ling, you're going to go to Benny, you're going to use his skill. Then you're going to swap over to Zhang Ling to receive those energy particles that you see coming towards her. You want to have Guoba out as much as possible and then you want kaya to be using his skill when it's ready to give himself energy as well as cause melt reactions when you have everybody's burst ready except for barbara where you want her skill you are going to use them all in conjunction you are going to use benny's burst to heal and buff Zhang ling's pyronado to be spinning around you kaya's burst to be spinning around those icicles and then barbara's skill to be spinning around the hydro that is going to be allowing you to swap between your different characters to always have globe on the field to cause some extra melt reactions with kaya to cause some extra energy going around with benny's skill this is going to be to where you're swapping between those three characters very quickly and a lot. So you're going to have the damage kind of spread out, but you also want the different characters in the field to be receiving the energy.
So while you can definitely do this, and while it is actually not a bad team, if you are not continuously swapping through your characters to kind of spread out the energy as well as causing the different reactions, it's not going to work as well. If you want a party that is much more of one character on the field doing a lot of damage for you, then take out Barbara, put in Noel. That's going to allow you to do the same things with Benny, Jiangling, and Kaya, but whenever you have all their bursts going, you're going to go to Noel. you're going to use her burst or her skill, and you are just going to be attacking everything in sight with your Claymore. Not only does it give you a more designated on-field damage dealer, it'll also generate those Geo Shards, so that way you can have shields up. So that is going to be it for this beginner guide on Bennett. If you learned something, please like, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. Do be sure to check out the live streams. I have been streaming live here and TikTok on Tuesdays and Thursdays, playing on my NA account, EU account. I'm going to be adding a third day for the Asia account as well. So that is going to be it, and we'll see you in the next one.